Hi, this is Katie Wyland, and I'm going to run you real quick through the process of using and setting up a project document in SpaceJock's outline software, YWriter. Uh, we'll start out by clicking Project in the top taskbar. Um, then we'll take the easy way out and say New Project Wizard. Move that so you can see it. And we'll punch Next. Type in your title. And we'll say Behold the Dawn, which is my crusade book, which comes out on October 1st. Author. And then specify your project folder. This little ellipsis button is actually the browse button. So you can select where you want to put it. And then finish. And then um, you are going to go up and so we're going to punch chapter. So we can app start adding our chapters. Create new chapter. Um, type in your chapter description. And the chapter is going to show up over here in the left column. And if we click on it, we get to see the description we just wrote show up down here in this box at the bottom. Um, this is really handy once you've got a bunch of chapters. You can just click on, go through the chapter titles and click on one, and the descriptions will show up down here so you can see at a glance what's happening in any particular chapter. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding um, characters and locations and um, props. So punch character, and then punch add new. And then type in um, the character's name. This is a short name, which will just so you don't have to have his whole name every time he pops up. Indicate whether he's a major or a minor character. His full name. Any alternates he may go by. Um, any tags. He's a knight. He's a trainer. And then a brief description. Then we can click over to bio. You I mean you can? It's really pretty extensive what you can do here. You can put down your character notes, anything else, um, indicate the goals that he has, and you can even upload um, a picture. If you come across a picture that looks like your character wants to, you can go ahead and um, select that and upload it. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add locations, add new, and just type in our first location. And a brief description if you want, and your tags. Again, you can add a picture. Which the adding the picture to the location is actually a new feature in YWriter 5. Um, I haven't used it before, but I'm really excited about it. And then we can add adding tools, items, add new. And I don't use this very often, but it's handy if you have like a MacGuffin, something that all the characters are after and that you need to keep track of where it is at any given time. Um, so you can type that in and use it in this field. And then we're going to punch scene, now that we've got some, a character and a location to play with. Punch create scene, and this pop box is going to come up. And then you've got all kinds of options that you can keep track of information. YWriter was initially designed to be a word processor. You can go ahead and type your whole story right into YWriter. I don't do that. I'm more comfortable with Microsoft Word. I use that to actually write my story. And I just keep all my outline notes in YWriter. I'm an extensive outliner. I end up with piles upon piles of notebooks full of my horrible handwriting. Um, so I just transcribe that into YWriter so I can have all my information right there at my fingertips while I'm writing it. So I type in my scene notes into this field. And then you can indicate um, the viewpoint. All the characters that you've created will show up in this little drop-down menu. And it's the only one we have right now, so obviously he's our only choice. But you can select the viewpoint, and you can title the scene. And add any further notes down here at the very bottom. There's another little field, which I suspect was used for um, outline notes if you're already using this field up here um, to type the actual body of your story. So then we can start working on um, various details. You can indicate whether the scene is an action scene, whether something the characters are, are starting something, or whether they're reacting to something that's already been started. You can indicate whether it's um, the main plot, the subplot. You can add tags. You can indicate where you're at with it, if, you, if you're just outlining it, if you finished the draft, if you're editing, if you're completely done with it. Um, the ratings feature is kind of handy. 
you can use this. You probably can't see that. I'll move it over. You can use this to um, indicate how important the scene is in various um, levels, whether how relevant it is, how high the tension is supposed to be, how much humor, um, that sort of thing. The time feature is one that I found especially helpful. Um, it allows you to indicate what, exactly what time a particular scene is taking place, how long it's going to take. This is really handy if you're doing um, a story that where you're on kind of a short timeline and everything's crammed together. It allows you to be able to reference between scenes to make sure that you're not ending up with a 27-hour day or two events that are happening at the same time. Um, so it's really handy for keeping track of that. And we can pick our location. And you can add that into this section. If we'd added any items, we could put that in um, this section. Just drag it over. Um, and then further notes. I mean, there's all kinds of places to keep notes. You can add pictures if you need to. Um, and then you've got information about the characters over here. All the characters who are going to show up in this scene. We only have Anna, so we can only indicate that he's here. But we've got... Um, so you can keep track of all the characters that are present in any given scene, which is really handy if you're like 50 chapters into it and you're wondering if such and such was present at this earlier scene. All you have to do is come here and look and see if he was there. Um, it's so much handier than having to run a search through your Word document. So anyway, there's our scene. And we can go down to the bottom here, punch save and exit. Um, and after that, it's just a matter of adding, keep adding the scenes. You know, it, it, all your information will show down here in these tabs that we typed in, so you don't have to use the pop-up box to view it. Um, it all shows up down here. Um, other than that, it's just a matter of adding the chapters and the scenes and the characters and the locations and the items that you want. It has several um, fun little uh, extras. You can keep track of your work schedule. Um, it'll make create a synopsis for you using the notes that you've made for the chapter headings and scene headings. Um, it also has this cool little feature that's a storyboard, which I'm probably you probably aren't going to get a good idea of it because I've only added the one character. But it will keep track of all the different POVs that you've added and show which scenes are happening in which character's POV so you can get a sense of the balance of how your POVs are balancing out. It's really nice. Um, Let's see. There's also where here's where you'll be able to look at your scene ratings, which we didn't make. But see, down here it shows you um, the various scenes and where they rank on these four um, categories that you can indicate in the uh, scene field: relevance, tension, humor, and quality. And also, it allows you to back up all your work. It allows you to debug your work. Um, it's really user friendly. Once you get the basics figured out, it's a breeze to use. It's so easy to keep track of all your stuff. Um, you'll be able to see it, your scene, chapters and scenes at a glance and easily click through your outline to find any particular scene. Um, where it puts all your information right at your fingertips. It's so much better than flipping through piles of notebooks, and it's a lot more fun, too. You can uh, download the software free of charge at spacejock.com slash ywriter5.html. And if you're not already at my blog, Wordplay, you can check that out at um, wordplay-kmyland, that's w-e-i-l-a-n-d, dot blogspot.com. Thanks for listening.